Six days before the Passover, when the Lord came into the city of Jerusalem, the children ran to meet him. In their hands, they carried palm branches and with a low, loud voice cried out, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you who have come in your abundant mercy. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter, the King of glory. Who is this King of glory? He, the Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you who have come in your abundant mercy. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, we have begun Holy Week with this Holy Mass of Palm Sunday. And we will offer this Mass for the soul of Mariah John Ott. And as we begin to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and ask our Lord to grant us his peace, his mercy, and his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners to yourself. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who, as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lessons of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue, that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who caught my beard. My face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The Word of the Lord.
the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Word of the Lord. She has done a good thing for me. The poor you will always have with you, and whenever you wish, you can do good to them. But you will not always have me. She has done what she could. She has anticipated anointing my body for burial. Amen, I say to you. Wherever the gospel is proclaimed to the whole world, what she has done will be told in memory of her. of him, 
But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Take it, this is my body. This is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. All of you will have your faith shaken, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be dispersed. But after I have been raised up, I shall go before you to Galilee. Amen, I say to you, the very night before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. Even though I should not to die with me, I will not deny you. Sit here while I pray. My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch. Abba, Father, all things are possible to you. Take this cup away from me, but not what I will, but what you will. Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep watch for one hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? It is enough. The hour has come. Behold, the Son of Man is to be handed over to sinners. Get up, let us go. See, my betrayer is at hand. Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to seize me? Day after day I was with you teaching in the temple area, yet you did not arrest me, but that the scripture may be fulfilled. And they all left and said,
He saved all of us. He cannot save to his own. Let the, let the Christ, the King of the Israel, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Look, he's calling Elijah. Wait, let us see if Elijah comes to take him down. Even before we were even conceived, 
Even before we existed, God already knew us in His mind and loved us. And ever since we were children, we have learned that Jesus has died for our sins. And if, first of all, that's something that we have to remember as well uh, as we go through this Holy Week and as we mourn with Him His Passion. Because when we say that Jesus suffered the greatest suffering in the existence of humanity, it's not an exaggeration. Someone can argue, and yes, that makes sense, that there's been other people that have suffered physically just the same, or maybe even worse. We can't, there's no way for us to gauge that. But uh, surely during his time, he himself was crucified uh, with two other uh, thieves next to him. And to this day, unfortunately, there are people that are sadly, as we speak, being tortured. So basically, uh, unfortunately, many people have gone through the physical passion that he went through. But what Jesus went through that no one else has, and only he could have bared this, is the fact that he, during his passion, in his soul, took on himself all of the suffering that brings, uh, that comes from all of the sinfulness of humanity. All the sins that have weighed down on humanity before, during, and, and, and after, or until the end of time, were were on his soul. So if we all here know how much it weighs and how much it hurts the, to, to go through a sin that we have committed before we make, we ask for forgiveness and go through reparations, the, the burden it is to us to be in, uh, enslaved to sin, Imagine what we can't even imagine it actually, but taking on the sinfulness of each and every human being of all humanity on one soul is, of course, the greatest something we can't even fathom the amount of suffering to the point that, of course, that is why he, even on the agony in the garden, will, will, will uh, sweat and cry uh, tears of blood. And that is something that we have to remember because, therefore, we have to realize all of our sins, retroactively, 2,000 years ago, will hurt Him. And therefore, He takes on our sinfulness now on Himself 2,000 years ago. And first of all, that's something that we have to thank Him for and be in awe about His love. And also, uh, it, it should encourage us to, to be free from sin so as not to uh, fill him with sorrow. But in the same way, in the, in, the, in, in the other side of the coin is that we can also console him 2,000 years ago as he goes through his passion. What we do right now, which is uh, all the ways in which we express our love to Him, all the ways in which we express our appreciation, our gratitude, our, our complete gratitude for Him giving our life, His life for us, the fact that we trust in Him, which is what He over and over asks for us to do, and is perhaps his ongoing suffering is the fact that after all that, we still don't trust in His mercy. But when we do trust Him, when we do uh, appreciate what He's doing for us, when we give everything to Him, we console Him. And if we can understand that fully, and in, 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 in we want to meditate more on this uh, truth, we can see, for example, what he tells St. Faustina, which we pray, when we pray the Novena, the Divine Mercy, which we usually begin on Good Friday, so as to uh, be finished by Divine Mercy Sunday, which is the second Sunday of Easter. Every day Jesus says things, bring the souls of those repentant sinners to me because they kept me going. I'm paraphrasing here, but for example, they kept me going as I went through my passion. Bring the souls of, of the innocent children because it gave, that gave me strength as I was going through my suffering. Bring to me the souls of the religious and consecrated because that kept me uh, in, in, in rejoicing at, at the worst suffering that I went through. And so on and so on. 
So he himself had to say St. Faustina these words of all the different ways in which he was being consoled and he was receiving endurance and he was receiving love and a reason to go through all that suffering as he was going through the suffering and passion. Therefore, the way that we love him right now in 2021, he will be receiving in, as he goes through his passion 2,000 years ago. Again, this is something that for someone that might not have any faith on sounds something silly and made up, but we know that for God that all things are possible and that he was loving us even as he was going through his passion, each and every one of us, we know that we can console him. And that is a beautiful thing for us to realize and to remember as we begin this journey of Holy Week because just like our sorrowful Blessed Mother Mary, St. John, St. Mary Magdalene, everyone that consoled him during his passion, we too want to be by his side, loving him, thanking him, and, and being there with him uh, as we walk in this journey of his uh, greatest suffering. And then, of course, we will also rejoice with him as we come to Easter Sunday and rejoice in his resurrection. God bless you. And now let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered in the Pontius Pilate. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he arose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of saints, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And now let us ask our Heavenly Father to help us with all of our needs. Let us pray for our church as we begin this Holy Week that we may all be filled with the graces, the abundant graces that are being offered to us and therefore console Jesus in his passion, we pray to the Lord. Amen. Let us also pray for our Jewish brothers and sisters as they, be, as they are living through their Passover, that we may all be united in the same love of our Heavenly Father, which we all call uh, Abba. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Let us pray for peace in the world, for peace in every nation, in every heart that the peace that Jesus wants to bring us this Easter may be received by all of us. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Let us pray for all who are sick, for an end to the pandemic, for all who are mourning, for all who are not trusting in Christ's mercy, and for everyone whom we promised our prayers to. We pray to the Lord. Amen. And let us pray for all who have died. We especially pray for the soul of Mariah. We pray, pray for all souls that they may be in the triumph of heaven that Jesus has opened up for us through his cross and resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending us Jesus to bring us your love, to bring us your mercy. We ask you to help us to trust in that, especially as we go through the Paschal Mysteries we will be celebrating this week. We ask you to help us with this and all of our needs, which we present to you each day in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that though we do not merit it by our own deeds, yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins, and his resurrection has purchased our justification. And so, with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration we have so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of me. chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, 
spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will have been forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection you may lead us to where you call, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look, we pray, O Lord, on this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has ended. Let us go in peace. And let us ask our Blessed Mother Mary, our sorrowful mother, that she may help us to walk with Jesus and with her during this holy week and console him. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.